It hasn't been a very good week for UK Parliament Lord Baron John Sewell. Well, Sewell, who's 69 years old, was caught by a hidden camera. Of course, the Sun magazine Jose doing this. He was caught snorting lines of cocaine off the prostitute's bare breast while calling Asian women whores. Now, the Sun published this hidden camera video of the romp that took place blocks away from Parliament. The one bright light in the story, Sewell's wife didn't have to see it. He reportedly turned down the photo of his wife that was on the table face down before engaging in activity with the two ladies. Racist remarks, two hookers, and a class A drug all in one tape. It hasn't been a very good week for him. I want to point out the, the prostitution aspect of this story isn't necessarily illegal. What is illegal are the use of cocaine, number one. That's And the tasteless that's big racism no -no. remarks. Well, I don't know if that's illegal or not, but it's no, certainly No, but it's tasteless in itself. But what a gentleman. An English gentleman. You know, he he was a gentleman. Turning down that photo, I mean, he's he has my vote. If my I dear, le let me put you down before I snort some coke. Right, from we need to we need to point out too. I mean, these women were of legal age. He's not a pedophile. Um, and now that you're talking about it, I think one of the important uh, aspects of this story is the fact that this M MP. In this incident with the hookers, he confided on them that there was a really, really big problem of, of MPs having sex with boys. And we did the story, Elliot did the story here on the main channel of the LIP about how prevalent this issue is happening, how many MPs are involved in having sex with minors in England. And, and I think he being vocal and, and having an opinion about it might have something to do with the fact that the son went in, invade his privacy, and nailed him and destroyed his career this way. It's disgusting. It's up, and I I do believe that it it was quid pro quo. It, it's very possible. Um, those bastards at the Sun they certainly know how to fry someone's career. This man we need to point out we don't we don't have any confirmation that he's resigned from his seat in Parliament. Two committees though. One committee dealing with morality and standards. He isn't serving on that any longer. And um, deputy speaker as well. That's right. That's right. So for now, um, MP Soul has his seat. And, um, or Sewell rather, these British names, they always get me, and um, he's, he's holding his own. I mean, I think also it goes to show how hungry some outlets are for quick sensational. And we have it here in the States with Gawker coming out with this crazy story outing someone as gay, very, very, you know, uh, irresponsibly, if you, were, if you will, and with no other intention than just gathering attention. And we see that, like Destroying you were talking about. There's a political motivation exactly. behind it. It's never about the person's activity. It's always about what they're pushing. Or personal and gains. And precisely. I think that we are so addicted, and it's so easy to document things and to hide cameras and, and the wearable ca per devices that we have now. It's, it's, it's hard, man. It's hard if you are a public persona or if you're, a poli you're in politics. But at the same time, this is nothing new. I, I can't believe that he's the only MP that engages in this type of behavior. Anyway, not the best week for this MP. Um, racist remarks, two hookers that he actually paid with a check, also big no-no, and a class A drug. Log on, post those comments below about this story. While you're at it, be sure to check out the rest of our channel and, of course, subscribe to the Lip TV 2 for more.